I was one of the folks who was at JFK during the travel ban, so the nine days that the lawyers, translators, and media folks working 96 hours straight, so I'm not sleeping at all. I can't envision my journey deciding to run for office without that experience. I am a mom. I work full-time in higher education. I'm a children's book author and somebody who's loved to be involved in community service. And now I'm the endorsed Democratic candidate for the State House in Connecticut. When I first learned about the travel ban, it was one of those moments of, wait a minute, this can't be right. We're gonna move on now to the chaos, confusion, and anger growing in the wake of President Trump's immigration ban. Refugees in! Racist out! Refugees in! Racist out! Refugees in! It was game on at that point. The power of social media kicked in, and I found a Twitter page that was called No Ban JFK. And so I checked it out and they had a volunteer sign up sheet. So headquarters for No Ban JFK was at the Terminal 4 Diner. One of the biggest things when I got there was like, okay, who's got Wi-Fi? How do I plug my computer in? You know, there's 30 people <laughs> gunning for the same space. You have all these extension cords plugged into each other. I mean, we're talking just hundreds of lawyers and translators literally wherever there was space, leaning up against the wall. And so the first night I'm there, I'm on the Twitter, and I'm like, oh, they gave me the password. Like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And then like, the Women's March retweets what you've put up there. And you're like, all right, this is legitimate. Like, people are paying attention. So to think that all these strangers could come together and say, you know, the first night I got there, we had helped 168 families who had been in detention. It really shows how well people can work together in a situation where it's like, okay, this is a crisis, let's figure out what to do. I think a lot of us wait for people to come off the sidelines to run who we think are going to have the same values, but sometimes it doesn't happen, right? I felt like it was my time to step up. Somewhere back there, is a mom who's been separated from her 10 year old and doesn't speak the language and hasn't been offered anything to eat and just flew, you know, 15 hours in the air. If they can handle that, I can certainly handle this.